NFTs have gotten so popular that maybe you've been thinking about minting one for yourself. Or maybe you're an artist and you'd like to mint a small curated collection. Well, today, let's take a look at how to do this together using EndMaker. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, let's take a look at how we can mint our very own NFTs using the EndMaker Mint platform. Earlier this week, the EndMaker team tweeted out, Attention makers, they want your feedback. The EndMaker Mint platform is an easy to use NFT minting tool and they want your feedback to know what do you like about it and what can be improved. So let's jump in. If we come to endmaker.io, we can click here on Mint NFTs or you can come straight to their minting portal by going to mint.endmaker.io slash minting and we'll link all of these down below. So once we're here, the first thing we want to decide is if we're going to do a single NFT or if we want to create a collection. For this video, we'll just do a single one. So let's go ahead and click on that and click on next. So now we just need to upload the files that we want to have as part of our NFT. Earlier today, I was playing around with Mid Journey's AI art generation engine and making all different kinds of scenes for woodland pools and aspen forests. If you guys like it, let me know down below. I might actually make a small collection of some of these because they're, they're actually coming out really nice. So we'll go ahead and pick one. I've called this one Aspen Forest at Night. So let's go ahead and use this one and I'm going to just drag and drop it. Okay, so once it's done, we'll see our file name here of the picture that we've uploaded. So now let's do some basic information. So let's, for a title, let's go ahead and call it Aspen Forest at Night. And for a description, let's say Woodland Pools First AI Art NFT. So this token name here is going to be the name of the NFT. You can see here, the token name must be unique for every NFT within the collection and can only contain letters and numbers. So let's go ahead and call this one Aspen Forest at Night 001. You can add some additional custom properties if you'd like here, but we're gonna go ahead and keep it simple. And then we need to answer some questions here. Does it contain any nudity or anything? No, it does not. Does it have any flashing or flickering for photosensitivity? No, it does not. And then we can add some different tags here. So let's click on nature and it is art. And let's say it is a painting. So now for licensing, you have several different options here. You can click on any of these and get additional details. We're going to go ahead and leave it in the default of the EndMaker personal license. So now at this point, it depends on if you want to actually sell this NFT or if you're just making it for yourself. If you want to keep it for yourself, you can just click on mint only and then all of these payment options will go away. So let's do this. Let's actually mint a personal one just for ourselves. And then after that, we'll also do one with a fixed price. Okay, so we're going to click on mint only and click on next. So we see here, this is the point of no return. And the next steps is where the NFT will be created. We will not be able to edit or change them any longer. So let's make sure that they're all set up in the way we want them to be. So this looks good. It's ready to go. Aspen Forest at night. I confirm that they're ready to be created and let's click on continue. So now we're here on the minting page. We can see it's going to cost us two ADA to mint this one NFT. And we can see we can do this transaction with EndMaker Pay. EndMaker Pay is the same payment platform that we showed in our book.io video where you were able to buy some books straight from their site. And so this same integration is built in when you're minting your own NFT for yourself. So let's go ahead and click on buy with EndMaker Pay. All right, so it takes a second, but once it's loaded, we can see here our two ADA. We can choose the wallet that we want to pay with. So we're going to go ahead and use Eternal Wallet. So let's continue with Eternal. Click that you agree to the terms and conditions and that you are a human and then click on place order. If you have multiple monitors, make sure you keep a lookout for this pop-up here. So here's our Eternal wallet asking us to sign this transaction for the two ADA. So we're using a Ledger Nano X. So all we need to do is confirm and sign on the device. But if you're using a software wallet, here's where you would enter your spending password. So we're gonna go ahead and click on sign. All right, so it looks like right as we're recording this, there seems to be some kind of an integration issue with Eternal and EndMaker Pay. This was working perfectly last week when we used it, but it looks like right now there might be some kind of transient bug. I reached out to the EndMaker team and their developers are already looking into it. So probably by the time you get to here, this will already be working. But for the sake of time for this demonstration, we're going to use our NAMI wallet. So we'll select that and click on connect to wallet. All right, we're going to grant access and we'll say that we agree and that we are human. Let's go ahead and place our order. Let's go ahead and sign. Cool. So we see here that it is processing our purchase. It's going to send it to the blockchain. And then once that is confirmed, it will send the token to the wallet that we used to purchase this. All right, so it says congratulations on our purchase. So if we open up our NAMI wallet and we come to our collectibles, we can see here's our NFT for the Aspen Forest at night. Cool, so now let's do the same thing. Let's make a single NFT, but this time we're going to make it an NFT that we're going to list for sale. So we'll grab another image that we generated. We'll drag and drop it here. We'll give it a description and a token name like we did before. We'll select nature, painting, and art. We'll leave the license the same. And now let's do this for a fixed price of 50 ADA. And then here's where you would put your royalty address. So for royalties, every time that the NFT gets sold, the original owner receives a percentage of the sale price. You can set the amount here 
and the payments will be executed automatically. So on different platforms like JPEG store and stuff like that, whatever you set here is this percentage. Whenever your NFT is sold to somebody else on one of these platforms, you will automatically get a cut of that to the original address. So here's some feedback for the NMaker minting team. It would be really cool if this wallet address could be an ADA handle because that way, not only is it easier to type in and remember, but that way if you want to move around where the royalties go, it would be cool if you could just send the NFT to different addresses and move the royalty address. So that'd be a kind of a cool thing to see. But for now, we'll just take a fixed, a normal Cardano address. So for our address, we can just open up our eternal wallet. We'll grab the address for our Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X and we can paste that in here. And now let's click on next. Okay, point of no return, same thing. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and continue. But now we can see that we have our price here for what this NFT is going to cost. So we'll click on continue. Oh, okay, cool. So this is actually not what I expected. So instead of going to some other platform like JPEG store or something like that, this is actually pretty clever. Instead, they just give you a link that you can send to somebody and then they can purchase the NFT directly via NMaker Pay. So if we copy this link and we paste it into a new tab, we'll see here the familiar NMaker Pay layout and now the cost instead of the two ADA to mint is the 50 ADA because whoever it is that buys this is going to pay 50 ADA for it and then we will receive the payment and they will get the NFT. So this is kind of a cool option if you're just making one or two NFTs and you're selling them on the spot, you could just send people these links and then they can use it to purchase it. The other option, of course, if you wanted to sell it through something like JPEG store, you can do the same same workflow that we did earlier where you mint the NFT for yourself and just pay the two ADA yourself. And once you have the asset in hand, then you can go to JPEG store and upload the asset yourself manually and sell it there. So a couple of kinks to work through, but otherwise a pretty smooth and straightforward process. If you do decide to make your own NFTs, let us know how the minting process went for you with NMaker Mint. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.